So I've come into the site and the first one we're going to look at um, is, is we're going to look at some well, walk for symbols. So this can be key stage two, key stage three. So there's a nice little crossover there looking at across those two um, elements. So I'm going to zoom in on where to where I live. So I live down in Southampton. So I'm going to look at my location. And the idea is to plan a walk looking at the map symbols that I can find in my locality. So it's something you can do with your pupils. So it's interpreting maps, looking at ordnance survey symbols and finding out where we can go. So I'm going to identify some of the symbols I have on my map. So I can see some up here. And as I pan my mouse around, I can see some other ones. Now to view the symbols in Digimap for Schools, I can come over to the left-hand panel and there's a button there that says key. Now this key will show you all the symbols at the different ordnance survey scales. So as we go through the different scales, you will be able to see those unique symbols for each one. So I want to identify some of the symbols that I've got. So I can see I've got the lakes over here. So I'm going to come over to tourism and leisure and I can see that I have a fishing lake. I've got a nature reserve. I've got a car park. So if I go that way, I've got a few. If I start to go in the other direction. I can see this cross here. So what can that be? So we've got buildings. I know it's a place of worship. We've got different types of trees as well. We can look at the roads. So we've got different color roads. So I can say, okay, we've got a single carriageway and a second road. And we've also got paths. So I can say we've got bridleways, footpaths, et cetera, et cetera. So I've identified half a dozen or so symbols that I can see in my location. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plan my walk. So I'm going to plot my walk out to see where I'm going to travel. So I'm going to open my drawing tools and use the line drawing feature. You can choose your color line and style if you wish to, but I'm just going to stick with the basic one. So I'm going to say for my walk, because I live here, my first walk I'm going to do is I'm going to head towards the lakes. So I'm going to plot the route that I'm going to go and I'm going to stand somewhere in the middle and I'm going to collect a picture of both the two lakes. I'm going to come back this way, collect a picture of the car park. And I'm going to double back on myself because I'm going to come to this point where I go, I've got a major road here. So I'm going to collect a picture of that one. And then I'm going to walk towards where I can find the church. So I know I can take a picture of that one. And I'm going to travel up this, which is a minor road. But I'm also going to take a picture of the non-coniferous trees. And I'm going to walk back this way. I'm going to find my go down the cutway there, down the public path. I'm going to come to the school. And then I'm going to go, OK, I can collect my images. And I'm going to plot my route back back to where I originally started. So there's my route that I'm going to take us before I go out. So you can look at this with your pupils to get them to work out where they're going to travel on their location and find out where they can go to go past these particular symbols they've identified. Now, what we can also do is we can measure that route. So I can click on it and say, okay, I'm going to measure this so I can work out that I'm going to travel three and a half kilometers. So I'm going to say I'm going to go on a nice long walk to find these symbols. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go out along this walk. So we're going to follow around this route, collecting those images of those map symbols we can see so that we can link the images to the symbols on our map. So I'm going to come over to our image load tool here over and draw and create. And I'm going to get one of the fishing lake. So you need to go and find those on the hard drive of your machine or on the network that you're going to use. So you need to be able to save those off whatever device you've taken the images on. So I'm going to find my image of the fishing lake. So I'm going to click OK. And a couple of seconds, it should give me the option to upload. So it pops an image of the fishing lake on there. So I can link those on. Now to grab and move an image around, all I've got to do is move the cursor over and it changes to a little hand. And then I can move that image to wherever I like. So I'm going to pop that image over there. And then I'm going to go and grab one of the church. So let's find my image of the church using the image tool. Again, going off to the hard drive of my machine to find this. So I'm going to find my nice picture of the church. And again, I'm going to upload this and link this to my map. And I should see my picture of my church appear. So a couple of images there and we can do things with the images. So I can click on the image and it goes yellow like this. And then a whole load of tools open up here under modify. So the first one I can do is I can view my image so I can actually see a picture of the church and how it looks in the real world. I can resize that image. So when I click on the scale button, I can grab the corner, make it bigger or smaller. And then when I click on click off that and onto my map, I can make that image much, much bigger. And then we can drag it over and move it over here. So going out, exploring in the locality, being active, getting out and having a walk, could do this with their parents as well, or could take their dog out for a walk type of thing, collecting ordnance survey map symbols as they travel. 
So linking in that use of ordnance survey symbols. So let's show you a finalized version of this one. So here's my completed symbols walk. So it's going to take a couple of seconds. So as we can see, I've gone around my route. I've got the fishing lake, the nature reserve. I've got the major road, coniferous trees, the minor road, I'm taking a picture of the church, the walkway or the pathway and a picture of the school. So linking those in and out and exploring location. So you can get each of your pupils to do this. Or it could be, as I said, one of those ones when you come back to school, you can also do it around the school locality. Now, what I'm also going to show you is an alternative way to do this, because you may live in an area where there aren't many Ordnance Survey map symbols. So you might explore that piece of map and find there aren't any map symbols. So what I'm going to suggest is you go out and collect images of places that or places or things that don't have a symbol that you can't find on the Ordnance Survey symbol. So things like we would define as kind of street furniture. So I'm going to show you on the screen, guys, my non-symbols walk this time. So this time I've collected images of the telephone pole, the drain, the park, the bin and the post box. So there isn't an ordnance survey symbol for these, but we can still collect the images and link them to place in our location. So maybe what you could then do with your pupils is maybe say, well, what symbol could we create to show these on a map? So could we create our own symbols? So what kind of symbol will be used for a bin? What kind of symbol will be used for a post box? So get them to think creatively about what symbolization they might use in a locality. So a couple of ideas there around exploring place and using symbols 